Hello, so this is going to be an FAQ video to go in the FAQ series and it's what got me into gas masks because lots of people have asked that and I've sort of answered it before in comments and other videos but I thought I'd do this one specifically in this video and cover a couple of other minor points so hopefully if people watch this video they won't need to keep asking the question so I'm not just into gas masks or respirators I'm also into lots of other military rifles, firearms, sort of medieval weapons, maces, swords, hammers, you know, all that sort of stuff um, and I've also got air rifles and crossbows, you know, so when I made my account, Weapons and Stuff 93 was the obvious name because I had all sorts of military, I've got helmets as well, you know, some medals, but I don't really like to collect medals, but I sometimes just got them because they've been very cheap or, you know, people have given them me. Um, so, you know, there's lots of things like that. So, when I made the account, it was just to be a very mixed thing on different stuff. Uh, so I was into my gas masks because I was into lots of other military. Um, now, this was the first gas mask I owned, the Finnish M61 V2. This one isn't actually a Nokia built one, as far as I'm aware, because there's not a Nokia stamp on it. But, yeah, Finnish M61 V2, and my mum bought this for me when I was quite young. Uh, you know, it's obviously quite impressionable, probably bought it for me when I was about 10 or something. Um, I can't remember the exact age, and it was because she saw it in an army surplus store, and I think it was probably really cheap, and she thought, wow, Liam would like that. So, she got me this, and I obviously didn't become super interested in gas masks straight away. I thought this was really cool, and I like wearing it, sometimes with the filter on, sometimes without the filter on. Thankfully, apart from the chromium in these, these are perfectly safe filters. Um, so, you know, I'd wear it quite a lot when I was young, just, you know, but I wasn't really into masks as such yet. Then, I can't remember what was the next step, but it was obviously I saw something and thought those masks look really cool in that, and I can't remember what it was. Um... I think it was something, because I know the second mask I got, and I can't remember many more, you know, in the order of what order I got the masks after that. I'm pretty sure the second mask I got was a GP5. Um, that's where I paid far too much for it. I bought it for £20 from a surplus store with only the mask and the filter, you know, where they sold the bag separately, of course, as I'm sure you know. For anywhere between £10 and £20, really, on eBay, you can, uh, or sometimes Amazon, get a GP5 with the filter, with the lens inserts, with the carry satchel, sometimes with a couple of other accessories, you know, for half the price or the same price. But I didn't know that then because I was only just getting into masks and I didn't know all that much about them. Um, and then, you know, my interest grew after that. Um, but I think the reason I got the GP5 was because sort of in um, Paranoia, the Half-Life 1 mod, there's the zombies with GP5s on or SHM-41s, whichever one. And in Call of Duty 4, you've got, like, the Spetsnaz guys with GP5s on, even though Spetsnaz wouldn't actually wear a GP5, but whatever. Um, you know, um, that's, that sort of got my interest into the masks, I think, a bit more. And then, you know, it was kind of like the rabbit hole opens, where you start looking at some masks and think, wow, that looks really cool, I really like the design of that, that looks creepy. Uh, don't forget, I'd also played lots of games like Half-Life 2 as well, with all the Metro Cops in and the Combine Soldiers with gas masks, so I thought they always looked really cool. Um, you know, kind of just like a military thing with the helmets and the rifles and everything else. You normally had guys in gas masks because it looked intimidating. Always like Star Wars with the stormtroopers in it who kind of have cheek filtery looking masks a bit as well. So, you know, it was it was kind of like, I guess, a domino effect of more and more things then got me more and more interested in gas masks. Now, around that same sort of time period, I started getting really interested in reading up on sort of nuclear, biological and chemical warfare, sort of some of the really horrible weapons man has made to kill each other. And of course gas masks play a lot into that because they're one of the things that can actually protect you from having your face and lungs melt off. So, um, you know, it got more and more into that. Now, one of the things I have been asked, because I've done lots of gas mask videos recently more than other types of videos, is why is your channel called Weapons and Stuff 93? Why isn't it called like Gas Mask and Stuff 93 or Gas Mask Man 93 or why do you even have 93 in there all this sort of stuff? Um, mostly because the thing was with the gas masks is that generally I balance my videos out a lot more between all these sorts of different things and then at one point I did a video asking people what they wanted to see more of and 90 plus percent of people just wanted to see gas mask videos and more gas mask videos so basically I did videos more in a ratio of what people wanted so I still occasionally do crossbow videos, helmet videos, you know videos on melee weapons and stuff like that but I just predominantly do gas mask videos because that's what people have told me they want to watch 93 in my name is because I was born in 1993 generally um, I'm surprised people need to ask that if you look at loads of accounts where people have a year in the date um, you know like a year in the name of their account it's normally the year they were born that's um, a fairly easy way of you know checking it so yeah weapons and stuff 93 because I was born in 1993 and when I originally made the channel um, you know, it was all about various weapons and other stuff I just wanted to do videos on, so the name's self-explanatory. Again, if my channel, if I'd have known back then my channel would have got as big as it had gotten bigger then, would I have then, you know, picked a different name? Maybe. But again, I'm not psychic, I can't see the future. 
and you know everybody knows me by by this name now so even if I could change it where I think you may be able to do it on YouTube I don't think it's worth doing because it kills all your brand recognition even though I don't sell any products but you know what I mean so yeah that's what got me into gas masks and that's why my account's called that so hopefully this FAQ video explains all about that and you don't need to keep asking me the same question over and over